Jennifer Lynn Lopez, born July 24, 1969, also known by her nickname J-Lo, is an American actress, singer, and dancer. In 1991, Lopez began appearing as a fly girl dancer on In Living Color, where she remained a regular until she decided to pursue an acting career in 1993. For her first leading role in the 1997 Selena biopic of the same name, Lopez became the first Latin actress to earn over US$1 million for a film. She went on to star in Anaconda, 1997, and Out of Sight, 1998, and has subsequently established herself as one of the highest-paid Latin actresses worldwide as of 2017. Lopez is considered a pop culture icon, and is often described as a triple threat entertainer. Lopez ventured into the music industry with her debut studio album on the 6, 1999, which helped propel the Latin pop movement in American music. With the simultaneous release of her second studio album J-Lo and her romantic comedy The Wedding Planner in 2001, Lopez became the first woman to have a number one album and film in the same week. Her 2002 release, J to DHALO The Remixes, became the first remix album in history to debut atop the US Billboard 200. Later that year, she released her third studio album This Is Me. Then and starred in the film Made in Manhattan. After starring in Giggly, 2003, a critical and commercial failure, Lopez subsequently starred in the successful romantic comedies Shall We Dance? 2004, and Monster in Law, 2005. Her fifth studio album, Como Ama Una Mujer, 2007, received the highest first week sales for a debut Spanish album in the United States. Following a relatively unsuccessful period, she returned to prominence in 2011 with her appearance as a judge on American Idol and released her seventh studio album Love. From 2016 to 2018, she starred in the police drama series Shades of Blue and performed a residency show, Jennifer Lopez, All I Have, at Planet Hollywood Las Vegas. Since 2017, Lopez has produced and served as a judge on World of Dance. In 2019, she garnered critical acclaim for her performance as a stripper in the crime drama Hustlers. With a cumulative film gross of US$3.1 billion US dollars and estimated global sales of 70 million records, Lopez is regarded as the most influential Latin entertainer in North America. In 2012, Forbes ranked her as the most powerful celebrity in the world, as well as the 38th most powerful woman in the world. Time listed her among the 100 most influential people in the world in 2018. Her most successful singles on the US Billboard Hot 100 include, If You Had My Love, I'm Real, Ain't It Funny, All I Have, and On the Floor. For her contributions to the recording industry, Lopez has received a landmark star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, the Billboard Icon Award, and the Michael Jackson Video Vanguard Award among other honors. Her other ventures include beauty and clothing lines, fragrances, a production company, and a charitable foundation. Jennifer Lynn Lopez was born on July 24, 1969, in the Bronx borough within New York City, to Puerto Rican parents Guadalupe Rodriguez and David Lopez. She has an older sister, Leslie, and a younger sister, Linda, who is a journalist. David worked the night shift at the Guardian Insurance Company before becoming a computer technician at the firm, while Guadalupe was a homemaker. When Lopez was born, the family was living in a small apartment in the Castle Hill neighborhood of the Bronx. A few years later, her parents had saved up enough money to be able to purchase a two-story house, which was considered a significant accomplishment for the relatively poor family. At the age of five, Lopez began taking singing and dancing lessons. She toured Manhattan with her school when she was seven years old. Her parents stressed the importance of work ethic and being able to speak English. They encouraged their three daughters to put on performances at home singing and dancing in front of each other and their friends so that they would stay out of trouble. Lopez spent her entire academic career in Catholic schools, finishing at Preston High School in the Bronx. In school, Lopez participated in gymnastics, ran track on a national level, and was a member of the school's softball team. She excelled athletically rather than academically, competing in national track championships. Lopez is regarded as the most influential Hispanic performer in North America, 
credited with breaking ethnic barriers in the entertainment industry. In 1999, the record newspaper observed that she was responsible for the introduction of a Latina presence in the film industry, which was a whites-only preserve for much of its history. Described as a multidimensional artist who had turned into a financial powerhouse, Lopez became the highest-paid actress of Hispanic descent in history. Miriam Jimenez Roman stated in the Afro-Latin Reader, History and Culture in the United States, 2009, that she was able to traverse the difficult racial boundaries. In 2012, business magazine Forbes suggested that Lopez may be the most powerful entertainer on the planet, and named her the world's most powerful Latino celebrity. Upon launching her music career in the late 1990s, Lopez contributed to the Latin explosion occurring in entertainment at the time. Writing for the Recording Academy, Brian Hawk described her as the breakout female star of the Latin pop movement in American music. She was featured on the cover of the first issue of Latina magazine in 1996, with editor Galena Espinosa stating in 2011 that there is no recounting of modern Latina history without Jennifer. Around the time her career began to burgeon, the emphasis on Lopez's curvaceous figure grew. Scholar Sean Redmond wrote that this was a sign of her role and social power in the cultural changes occurring in the United States. In August 2005, Time listed Lopez as one of the most influential Hispanics in America, remarking, Why? Because over a decade ago, she was an anonymous background dancer on the second-rated sketch comedy show. Today she's known by two syllables. In February 2007, People in Espanol named her the most influential Hispanic entertainer. In 2014, scientists named a species of aquatic mite found in Puerto Rico, Lideruchna lopigi, after Lopez. Lopez is considered a global icon, and is often described as a triple threat performer. VH1 ranked her at number 15 on their list of 200 greatest pop culture icons, number 16 on 100 greatest women in music and number 21 on 50 Greatest Women of the Video Era. Lopez has been cited as an influence or inspiration by a range of entertainers, including Jessica Alba, Adrian Balin, Cot De Luna, Mike Doughty, Fifth Harmony, Becky G, Selena Gomez, Ryan Guzman, Kelly Key, Q Orianka Kilcher, Demi Lovato, Normani, Pitbull, Francia Reza, Sierra Ramirez, Naya Rivera, Bebe Reca, Rosa Salazar, Gwen Stefani, Stushi, and Kerry Washington. In 2019, the Council of Fashion Designers of America presented her with its Fashion Icon Award for her long-standing and global impact on fashion. The green Versace jungle dress that Lopez wore at the 42nd Annual Grammy Awards in 2000 was voted the fifth most iconic red carpet dress of all time in a poll run by the Daily Telegraph. The images of Lopez wearing the dress became the most popular search query of all time at that point, and subsequently led to the creation of Google's image search. Her style has influenced a range of celebrities, including Kelly Rowland, Kim Kardashian, and Jennifer Love Hewitt. Her record-breaking fragrance line has become the most successful celebrity line in the world, with sales exceeding $2 billion as of 2012. Her first fragrance, Glow by JLo, has been credited with influencing the rise of celebrity fragrances in the 2000s, with perfume critic Chandler Burr stating, Elizabeth Taylor was one of the first to have her own scent, but Glow kicked the whole thing into overdrive. Following the success of Lopez's appointment as a judge on American Idol in 2010, a trend of networks hiring big names for judging panels on reality shows ensued. The Hollywood Reporter branded this the J-Lo effect. Lopez has been a tabloid fixture and has admitted to having a less-than-perfect public image. The media has drawn comparisons between Lopez and actress Elizabeth Taylor, due to her numerous failed relationships, and Lopez has been dubbed a modern-day Liz Taylor by the media. Lynn Hirschberg of W compared her glamorous public persona to that of Taylor. Her style was described by Billboard's Lauren Savage as scantily clad. She has received a bad reputation as being a demanding diva, something which she denies. In 2003, The Observer remarked that Lopez was the woman immortalized in a million headlines as Hollywood's most demanding diva. Lopez must wonder what heinous crime she has committed to become the most vilified woman in modern popular culture. As of 2017, Lopez has sold more than 70 million records worldwide, 
and her films have grossed a cumulative total of 3.1 billion US dollars. She remains the only female entertainer to have a number one album and film simultaneously in the United States.